What's happening guys? Back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today I want to ask you, what is your favorite effect to use in the effects library? Go ahead, drop a comment, let me know what it is. For me, the effect that I use the most is probably the drop shadow. You can use it on all kinds of stuff and I use it all the time and it just makes things that you're putting on the screen kind of pop a little bit. For example, take a look at this little clip here. If we put some plain text on it, eh, it's all right. Throw a drop shadow on there like this. Boom, looks great, right? Helps it stand out, helps you be able to see it a little bit better. Not only can you use the drop shadow on just static things that are on your screen, you can also throw it onto things like the animated text that's built right into Resolve. Check this out. Here's the animated text coming onto the screen. All right, not too bad. It's kind of hard to see it in all the bubbles there. But now if we throw a drop shadow on there, look at how this looks. Looks a whole lot better, right? And even a last example here, what if you got some text bubbles popping up on the screen without a drop shadow on it? Meh, looks all right. I mean, it's okay, right? But if you add in that drop shadow, it kind of gives it that, uh, you know, 3D floating kind of look to it. And it really just, in my opinion, helps make it look better. So we're going to jump into Resolve. I'm going to show you that drop shadow effect. I'm going to show you some adjustments that I typically make and just show you a few examples on how you can use this thing in Resolve and make your videos just look better. Before we jump into Resolve, if you are new here, my name is Jay Yudlovsky and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to my channel. All right, into Resolve we go. All right, so jumping into Resolve here, we are in the Edit tab, and I've got that first clip example that I showed you up here, and I have a piece of text on it. Now, you can't do it with the basic text because the basic text doesn't let you drop the drop shadow on it, so you need the text plus, but it could just be static. It's fine. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just the basic text plus will work for this effect. So where do we find the drop shadow effect? Well, I'm in the Edit tab. You want to come up to your Effects Library at the top right here, and then come on down on the left to Filters under Open Effects. Then you want to scroll down here and under Resolve FX Stylize, you have the drop shadow. To apply it, it's easy as clicking on it, dragging it, and dropping it onto your text. And already, that looks better. But I do like to make a few little changes when I drop the drop shadow onto the clip. Drop the drop shadow. Yeah, when I drop the drop shadow on there. So to do that, I'm going to select my piece of text here. I want to come up into my inspector right here. So open up your inspector. And then you have effects right here. So go ahead and click on that. Now, most of the time, this is what I'll do. I'll maybe drop the blur down a little bit so it's not quite as blurred. I'll crank up the strength, and this may depend on your image too, or your video clip. And then I'm gonna reduce the drop distance a little bit. And look at that. So look, if we turn it on and off, look at the difference. Make a splash. Look at how much more that pops when we have that drop shadow on there. It just pops it right out of there. So that's why I use it so often. So that's an easy text example, right? And now how I showed you to put the drop shadow on some animated text, right? Got somebody uh, full of bubbles here. We got bubbles, right? It animates onto the screen. Okay. Well, it kind of blends in a little bit there. We could change the color of the text, but why don't we throw on a little drop shadow here? So got my drop shadow. Again, I'm just going to bring it over and drop it right onto my text. Boom. There. It's already starting to pop out a little bit more. And for me, like I said, I like to make a few changes. So I'm going to select my clip. Come up to my inspector here. Make sure you got effects open. I'm going to crank up the shadow strength. I'm going to reduce the blur even just a little bit. Uh, you can change your drop angle if you want. Usually I leave it, but I, I'll bring it back a little bit closer. There you go. Check that out. Look how much more that pops versus this. And the coolest part is that drop shadow animates in with whatever the animation is for that text already. And these texts are just standard stuff that's already here in Resolve. You can do it with any one of the texts that's already here. So here's another text effect that I use a lot. And a lot of times I put the drop shadow on there. So check this out, right? We've got the animated bars sliding in and the words. Now I can just drop the drop shadow on here. So I'm going to come back to my effects library here, Resolve Effects, scroll down, find my drop shadow and drop it onto the clip. Now, you can't really see anything because this clip is so dark. So you can change the color of the drop shadow too. Let's say I want to make it maybe, a, I don't know, I don't know if white, but let's see. I'm going to select my clip, come to the effects. I'm going to change my color and you can try different colors here. Maybe I don't want all the way white, somewhere like that. Let's try that. I think that looks okay. And you can, you know, reduce or keep the blur. I mean, you can make a lot of different looks here with just a basic drop shadow, right? I'm going to bring this back in, make it a little closer. You can crank up the strength if you want. All right, maybe the gray doesn't work so good. Even if you want to use a color, let's say I want to make it red, right? You can do that, increase the strength. You can blur it more if you want, less. It's all up to you. You just have a lot of options here on how you can make things look a little bit different and the whole thing will animate together. Check it out, boom. You got the animated drop shadow in there with the animated text. And when you're bringing things onto the screen, like in this example where we've got the speech bubbles popping up, Okay, they look flat, it's kind of boring, whatever, you know. 
it works. It's there. It gets the job done. But if we throw the drop shadow on there, it's just going to help make it look better. Click my drop shadow from my effects library and drop it onto each one of these clips. And already you can see it looks better. To me, it looks better. I mean, you can adjust it. You can leave it how it is. It's really up to you on the look you want. But look at that. Just real quick and easy. Boom. Looks so much better. Just a little drop shadow on there. And even when I'm doing talking head stuff and I have things flip on like this right over here, maybe this over here, maybe I've got some graphics, right? Look at this graphic here. That's without a drop shadow. And now check it out with a drop shadow. I don't know. Tell me, what, what do you guys think, right? The drop shadow. Come on. You got you got a sort of drop shadow on there, right? I think it just helps add dimension to your videos. And drop shadow is one of those things I just use all the time. So what do you think? Do you think a drop shadow makes things look better? I want to know what your opinion is. Comment down below. Like I said, I use this all the time. Do you guys use the drop shadow? I don't know. Let me know. Or do you have a different effect that you use in the effect library all the time? And it's something that's like key for your videos. Let me know that too. So I'm curious to see what you guys are using. So if you learned a little bit of something, I mean, just a little bit of something here, could you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You like Quick Tip Tuesday? I got tons of videos you could check out. I'll leave a playlist at the end here. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, what I need to do is take the elevator down here. All right, see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> just kidding. Turning on the Fighting Mar 4. Sing them up. Nice, I don't have to change the lens on here if I go with uh, this angle. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby. A little 24 to 8 L version 2. Great lens. All right. Oh, toilet. No worries. A little toilet flush. Got the uh, the pipes right over here, you know. We'll just uh, wait a minute there. You know what I'm saying? Don't need that in the video. Also got the tree guys back today. Cutting up another tree. We got huge ash trees out of my street. Get rid of them. They're all dead. You gotta go. Gotta go. Thankfully, I don't think you guys can hear that. Mike up here does an awesome job of isolating just me. Perfect. Alrighty. Alright.